his qualities. Look at Yusuf alayhi salam. He asked his brothers. Allah makes mention of it. قَالَ هَلْ عَلِمْتُمْ مَا فَعَلْتُمْ بِيُوسُفَ وَأَخِيهِ إِذْ أَنْتُمْ جَاهِلُونَ Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and we are Funny and Jesse. So right about now we're gonna do another reaction video but before we get into the reaction because I want to thank everybody that have been subscribing to our channel. You guys are really amazing. Thank you and thank you so so much. Before I get into the reaction guys, if you're new to this channel, my name is Jesse and my girlfriend's name goes by the name Funny and we do a lot of reaction videos. Any type of reaction videos that you want us to do, we're gonna do it for you. Just make sure to just go in the comment section, just give us any type of reaction, we're gonna do it. Anyway, thank you so much for uh, being with us and thank you so much for also subscribing. And don't forget to subscribe and push that notification button on and make sure to sit down and relax and wait for our reactions. And yeah, so right about now, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna do a reaction that was suggested by a lot of people and this one right here was rewards for being patient with examples with moved mank so without any further ado guys let's get it there are so many verses that speak about the reward of those who bear patience in this world and the next Indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala recompenses those who bear patience in an unlimited fashion. Unlimited. In this world and the next, you will see the fruits of your patience. But if you are not patient, impatient, what will happen? You taste a little bit of it. I am not saying that you need to endure oppression. I'm not saying that. I am saying that when you do good by being patient, where you can be patient, Allah never ever throws the reward of those who do good. I want to give you the most beautiful example. Yusuf alayhi salam, the Prophet Joseph may peace be upon him. I'm sure you know the story. It is amazing. Allah says in the Quran, we are relating to you the most beautiful of stories. That was the story of Yusuf, the Prophet Joseph. The whole chapter is named after him. And it is the only story that is found in one place from the beginning to the end. At the end, you know the brothers of Yusuf, what did they do to him? They tried to harm him, they wanted to kill him, they put him in the well, they did this to him, they did that to him, they did so much, they literally plotted against him, they tried their luck against him, they threw him in the pit, he got him, someone sold him, someone bought him, someone tried to lure him to commit a sin, they jailed him, and he continued, subhanAllah, bearing patience. How many things? Plenty, one after the other. So many things. At the end, Allah made him a powerful person. He was in authority. And finally, his brothers came in. He was so delighted, but obviously, he needed to deal with this matter. He had a good heart. How many of us have a good heart? It's not too late. You can develop your heart. You can develop the qualities of your heart. You can eradicate the hatred you have. You can work on the jealousy, the envy, the ill feeling. People get jealous very quickly. It's becoming more and more common. You have a beautiful car. You have, subhanAllah, a beautiful robe. People will become jealous. I can't believe it. It's becoming worse. Work on these qualities. Look at Yusuf alayhi salam. He asks his brothers, Allah makes mention of it. قَالَ هَلْ عَلِمْتُمْ مَا فَعَلْتُمْ بِيُوسُفَ وَأَخِيهِ إِذْ أَنْتُمْ جَاهِلُونَ قَالُوا أَإِنَّكَ لَأَنْتَ يُوسُفُ قَالَ أَنَا يُوسُفُ وَهَذَا أَخِي 
قد من الله علينا إنه من يتق ويصبر فإن الله لا يضيع أجر المحسنين Allah says, he asked his brothers, do you know what you did to Joseph and his brother when you were ignorant? Look at him blaming the devil. Look at him blaming Shaitan when you were ignorant. Which means I excuse you. Do you know what you did to Yusuf and his brother? They immediately thought to themselves, it's impossible for anyone to know what was done to Yusuf and his brother unless it's him, himself. They looked at him and they said, what's the possibilities of you being Yusuf? Are you Yusuf? He says, yes, I am Yusuf. This is my brother. Allah has favored us. That's the word. He didn't say, I hate you guys. I'm going to fix you guys. I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to make sure I'm the leader today. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to... That's what he would do, I think. A lot of us would do that to our own spouses, let alone someone else. We would do it. I'm going to fix you. I'll show you. I'm going to make you regret your decision, etc., etc. We have bad words. So what happens? We suffer as a result of our own plot. We struggle. We suffer. Because we have a bad plot. Don't do that. Try to find within your heart the soft spot that will look and learn from the stories Allah makes mention of. He doesn't talk about it for nothing. He talks about it because He wants you to learn a lesson from it. So He says, Allah favored us. You know what that means? In one sentence he told them, no matter what you did, what you tried from the beginning to the end, look at how Allah gave me as a direct result of your action. Had you not plotted against me from the beginning, I would not have been here. Sometimes we lose a job. We get so upset, but we don't realize Allah wants to give you a better job. Only after five years you're going to say, I can't do it now. You might start your own business and it might flourish. And Allah says, look, you were so upset when you lost the job. Look at where you are today, so be happy. My brothers and sisters, it's that evil with somebody your salah. So long as you're bearing patience and your salah is in order, nothing evil can happen to you. No, it cannot. Yusuf alayhi salam says, I am Yusuf, this is my brother. Allah has favored us. For indeed, whoever is conscious of Allah and they bear patience, Allah will never waste the reward of the those who do good. In the who may yet taki wasbi, in Allah, those, indeed those who are conscious of Allah, conscious of Allah meaning you fulfill the obligations as best as you can, you abstain from the prohibitions as best as you can, you seek the forgiveness of Allah as best as you can, that is the consciousness of Allah. Consciousness of Allah is to create a barrier between you and Allah's displeasure by fulfilling His commands and staying away from prohibitions. That is the consciousness of Allah. It is called taqwa Allah. So whoever is conscious of Allah, and bears patience, Allah will not waste the reward of those who do good. Imagine Allah calls them Muhsineen. Allah says they are the ones who do good. Who is a good who is a doer of good? A doer of good is a person who has taqwa and suffering. How do I know it? Because it is in this verse and it is in several other verses as well. Allah will not waste your reward. When you are patient, Allah will give you. The problem is, my brothers and sisters, in patience we become impatient. You know what that means? We say, okay, I'm going to forgive. And after a while you say, oh Allah, I'm still waiting. You have become an impatient. That's why the hadith says, يُسْتَجَابُ لِأَحَدِكُمْ مَا لَمْ يَسْتَعْجِمْ Beautiful narration. When you make your heart to Allah, you call out to Allah, oh Allah, give me, oh Allah, grant me. Allah says, we will give to all of you for as long as you are not impatient. So the Sahaba, Allah, asked the question, what is this impatience? What do you mean impatience? He says, for one of you to say, I called out and I called out and I called out, but Allah didn't answer. That means you became impatient. Allah knows. When I say, oh Allah, I'm looking for a job. Firstly, I need to develop a belief with Allah. You know when you know someone, when you are close to someone, you say, Give me a job. You don't have a job? Come, come, come. I'll give you double the same thing. Why? Because I'm friends with you. And you're a big boss. Allah is bigger than anyone else. 
So when you have a good relationship with him, what are you looking for? Ta'arba fi Allah, fi rahai, the hands have to shift them. But the Prophet clearly says, get close to Allah, give me times of ease. But the problem with us is we only get close to Allah, give me times of difficulty. Oh, that's good, cool. it's good. Cool. But there's something better. What is better? Times of ease. You have no problem right now. You have a job, you have a wife, you have a husband, you have children, you have a car, you have a house, you have a good salary, you have everything else, you have peace, you have serenity, you have get close to Allah now. You know why? The day difficulty is about to come in your direction. Allah will be closer to you. Allah will be closer to you. So, so this is why we say, when you lose a job, I'm giving you practical examples, examples, right? And you say, Allah, oh, give me. Hey, to be patient. It might take a while. But, but if you do stay down, if you try, if you are impatient, you will not get it. Because you are saying, oh, Allah, I'm calling out to you for the last 40 days. You did nothing. That is an insult to Allah. Don't do that. اقرأ كتاب الله ترق جماله وتن العظيم الأجر والغفران رتله روي القلب من واو واو such an amazing video right there man such an amazing video and also, I like the way he delivers just the whole speech. This guy is really amazing, man. Move the Mank is just super, super amazing. Um, I like the fact where he say that, um, like, impatient, people become impatient. You get it? Like, you might say, like, ah, okay, let me become patient. And then, maybe in a few days, you're like, ah, I've been waiting for this thing to happen, but it's not happening. Like, you become impatient in process of being patient. You get it? The message is just spot on, and everything was just good. There's a slogan that says, or um, a saying that says, patience pays. And I feel that's true. I mean, if you are willing to wait for something, eventually it's going to come your way. If you put your mind and effort, and you trust in God, everything is going to come your way, like 100%. But most of the people nowadays... They're not patient enough. Most of the people nowadays, they're not patient enough. They want probably quick money. They want things to happen really fast. And what I realized in life is that when something comes to you really fast, it also goes out really fast. So if something comes to you patiently, it will stay for long. You get it? Just think about it. Like, um, you, like... You get the money just really quick, you start thinking about it, and you, you will not have a plan. You start having uh, weird thoughts, and you might end up spending it in the most weirdest way, you get it. But imagine that there's this money that you've been waiting for a while, or maybe there's this maybe a prayer, probably you, 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 you wanted to get a job or something. And then you've been waiting for a while and then boom it comes to you in the right time at the right uh, moment guess guess what I mean you will be able to treasure it you'll be able to take care of that job and guess what if it's a case about money you you will treat that that money with a lot of respect I mean you will treat that money with a lot of care you wouldn't want to go and just spend it just like that because You've been waiting for it and all of a sudden just arrived in a good moment and you you'll be happy to even try and 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 and, and, and spend it you understand people nowadays don't realize that patience pays i think it has been it has been like um underrated at this time and age that we live in today because people as as day moves and and, and people are really um i really greedy to have something at a glance or something like that i mean i think we shouldn't be like that we shouldn't have that kind of that kind of uh thinking or thoughts i believe in patience i believe patience is everything if you're willing to have patience trust me everything's going to come to you at the right moment and if you trust in god again everything's going to come to you in the right moment it's not um, run to get things quicker and become so impatient about things. Things, everybody wants things, but the best things takes time and the best things um, 
come at a slow pace. It doesn't come really quick. If something comes really quick, you have to think about it. You have, I mean, if something is too good, if the deal is too sweet, you have to think twice. So I believe that patience is, is just the key. And it pays a lot. Trust me, it pays a lot. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for listening to me and thank you so much for the reactions. If you feel like I reacted to this video in a better way, just give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to go down my comment section tell me exactly what you feel about this reaction. What do you feel about this video right here? I feel it's just an amazing video. Mufti Meng actually uh, explained it in the right way. To be honest, this was just amazing. Um, I'm, I'm really happy to have such a message. And also you people, I'm really happy for just listening to... Uh, this video right just let me know in the comment section what do you think you think patient pays what do you think you think patience pays or you think it's just like ah no i don't have patience have you ever had patience and then later only paid just let me know in the comment section below anyway guys and the most important thing guys don't forget to subscribe to our channel the more you keep on subscribing the more you give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you a better better content and last but not the least i'm going to see you rather we're going to see you in the next video and peace out